What is a qubit? Well, it's two things really. A mathematical, symbolical thing and a real thing in a real machine. And I already made a short about the theory bits, link below. So today it's time to talk about practice, the real physical qubits inside quantum computers. There are many different realizations of qubits, but currently the leading technologies are superconducting qubits on the one hand and ion trap and neutral atom computers on the other. The qubits of atom and ion computers are very similar in that they use the atomic energy states that their electrons can be in. And in principle, you could pick any two of those to work as qubits 0 and 1. But realistically, they have to fulfill a number of criteria to be useful. They need to be stable and you need to be able to operate on them and prepare them in specific states and also to read them out. As a concrete example, this is part of the energy level structure of a calcium plus ion used in some ion trap quantum computers today. The energy levels are numbered in the arcane ways of spectroscopy, but uh, this shall not concern us here at all. The only thing we care about is that this upper level is used as the one qubit state and this lower level is used as the zero qubit state. The transition between those states can be triggered by a 729 nanometer red laser. Superconducting qubits are a bit more complicated, so let's oversimplify them a bit. They are like an LC circuit, where the energy is constantly transferred between the electrical field of the capacitor and the magnetic field of the coil. Basically, the electromagnetic version of a pendulum, of a harmonic oscillator. This is a so-called transmon, an example of a superconducting qubit. It uses a Josephson junction instead of a coil, but the basic physics stays the same. The energy in the circuit is constantly being transferred between the capacitor and the Josephson junction inductance. This system is a quantum harmonic oscillator, and the two lowest energy levels of this oscillator are the qubit states 0 and 1. Subscribe for more quantum computing.